Welcome back to Chokitebo Media. I want us to discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of AI. What is AI? AI is artificial intelligence that has just arrived. A new way of using sophisticated machine computerized to carry out a task that normally human being could do, such as reasoning, making decision, or solving complex problem, like they say, in an ultra super smart way. It's all about using sophisticated computer to solve problems. I'll be relating to you the opinion of an expert in this field, Veronica Vama. She's an expert in the field of artificial intelligence and she has a lot of things to tell us regarding this field of study. A lot of knowledge to impact on people that are very happy about having this new creation which we call artificial intelligence. At cross-border distribution conference, hashtag cross-border 2024 that came up in Kishbeck, Luxembourg City, Veronica Farmer, a hacker turned CISO, deliver a keynote speech on cybercrime and artificial intelligence on the 16th of May 2024, organized by Deloitte, Luxembourg, and Elvinja Osprusin with the support of Financial Times. Veronica Farmer described artificial intelligence as a systemic threat to financial stability and she concluded that uh, cyber attacks pose a significant danger. She believes that the utilization of artificial intelligence is facilitating cyber criminals in their endeavors to carry out attacks. As a former hacker herself, turned chief information security officer, CISO, she has put forth several recommendations for financial sector to contemplate in relations to artificial intelligence and cybercrime. Let's go further and listen to the opinion of this expert. Artificial intelligence is increasingly playing a significant role in various aspects of our lives. She said, ranging from assisting in surgeries to analyzing behaviors. As we move forward, it is not only human influence that we need to be concerned about, but also we need to be concerned about the influence of artificial intelligence, the AI. The question arises, how can we differentiate between action based on our cognitive ability and those influenced by AI in our daily work and professional lives. This thought-provoking question was raised by Monica during our keynote address at this cross-border distribution conference on the 16th of May 2024. A casual survey revealed that while the majority of attendees were excited about AI, there was also a sense of apprehension. Farmer herself admitted to being slightly concerned, she clarified that her worry did not stem from the fear of AI taking control or dominating everything. Rather, she highlighted instances where AI is being utilized to impact decision making, potentially even replacing human decision making to some extent. She explained that artificial intelligence models are trained on data to comprehend what intelligence outputs look like. However, due to reasons such as bias or incorrect data, AI always produces accurate information despite its ignorance. AI is still utilized for decision making. When AI goes beyond enhancing human decision making, questions should be raised, she argued. How much is AI enhancing or replacing human decision? What are the potential unintended consequences? Who is responsible for the outcome? She continued by stating that uh, we are only scratching the surface of the future created by artificial intelligence and its implication for cyber attacks. Cyber hackers and criminals are exploiting AI for their benefits. 
with the accessibility of AI. Traditional programming language are no longer necessary, making it easier for cyber criminals to create apps, websites, and malware. AI is also used for human behavioral analysis and influencing behavior, making it more accessible for hackers and cyber criminals. The ability of cyber crime and cyber criminal to use AI to impersonate individuals, including their accent and dialect, to deceive others into authorizing money transfer is making it increasingly challenging to differentiate between what is real and what is fake. Farm had it that hiring a cyber criminal is even less expensive just as if you want to subscribe for Netflix, which costs nothing less than $20. It makes one to be able to subscribe to a service on a dark web and hire criminals to target competitors while illegal it is theoretically possible. Cyber criminals are primarily motivated by financial gain, with espionage following closely behind them. The speaker emphasizes the importance of data, stating that it is equal to money. The financial industry is a common target, but risk extended throughout the entire supply chain. An example of this is the solar wind attack that affected Norway's software wet fund in 2021. She also highlighted the need to recognize the risk now transcending organizational behavior and span the entire supply chain. It is crucial to fully comprehend the implication of this shift. Cyber attacks are no longer isolated technology or business risk. They now pose a systemic financial risk. To thrive in this ever-challenging world influenced by AI and cyber attack, she gave us five recommendations for this. Firstly, she emphasized the importance of sticking to the basis. While it may seem mundane, it remains the most effective approach. This includes practices such as training, password management, software update, safeguarding customers' data, and other essential cyber hygiene or cyber hygiene measures. It is crucial to avoid using weak password. Secondly, as organizations increasingly rely on AI for decision-making and argumentation, it becomes necessary to address certain questions. What exactly are we argumenting? What extent are we replacing human decision-making? What are the potential consequences? It is essential to understand the unintended outcomes that may arise from incorrect decisions or action taken on behalf of AI. The sooner these questions are answered, the better. From highlighted that there are two types of organization in this world. Those that have already experienced cyber attacks and those that are unaware of it. It takes an average of 200 days to detect a cyber attacks. Its ability to detect and respond swiftly is crucial for effective crisis management Prevention alone is insufficient. A robust response strategy is necessary. Accountability is, is the fourth recommendation. While it is possible to avoid transfer or mitigate risk, one can never completely absolve themselves of the liability. Lastly, ethical implication must be considered. AI is already being used for financial analysis. But when it comes to making actual decision, ethical concerns arise. It is important to question whether this decision are fair and unbiased, or if the result in a discrimination or bias denying access to certain individuals. By addressing these questions and concerns, organizations can enhance their defense against cyber attacks and strengthen their overall posture. There is a pressing need for further dialogue on AI. The AI Act has been implemented in Europe and regulations are currently being established. As Farmer mentioned in response to inquiries about the hope of managing AI, she emphasized that regulations are always 
a double-edged sword. As critics argued that they in that innovation, while others believe that they are essential for safeguarding. However, why not consider both perspectives? For my elaborator, stating AI will undoubtedly revolutionize the way we think, build, create, and live in a positive manner. There are numerous benefits to it. Make no mistake, she emphasized that hope stems from each individual. It is not solely the duty of our chief AI officer engaging in more conversation about the ethical implication is crucial to do things correctly. I hope you've learned one thing or the other from the conclusion of Veronica Farmer. I think she puts everything in the right perspective. She did not uh, waver in her understanding of the situation of cyber attacks and the usage of AI, artificial intelligence. She's neither here or there. I think she stays in the middle and wanting us to also try to find a means of staying in the middle. Staying on a path or be in the middle is even the best. Not relying solely on represent on uh, artificial intelligence to make decisions. But at least we need to also consider the real human decision making, whatever we do as well, in the usage of artificial intelligence, so as not to fall into the trouble of being attacked in the cyberspace. Thank you for listening. This is Chucky Table Media. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Like the broadcast. Share them and pass your own comments. What do you think about artificial intelligence? What risks do they put in? Thank you for watching and God bless.